it's going to hurt you. And then you're going to do one, two, three. It's going to hurt the other person. Then they're going to do one, two, three. And now for those like me that learned how to waltz as a kid with their mom, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You had a great phrase on your website that I wanted to ask you about, which referred to the waltz of pain. The waltz of pain refers to the negative part of that systemic dance, that waltz. Ultimately, the only reason people do the waltz is because they're both hurting inside because they're not feeling loved. They're experiencing their partner is withholding a flavor of love and it hurts. It's threatening. And so then they do these three steps, both people. Step number one, I see the other person negatively. I judge them. You, right? Step two, I have a reactive emotion, an emotion that has a because of you at the end. I'm angry at you. I'm frustrated with you. I'm disappointed in you. You confuse me. You make no sense, right? And then there's an action born out of, I see you negatively and I'm frustrated, mad, annoyed by you. And there's a million different flavors of actions, right? I'm going to blame you, criticize you, walk away from you, minimize you, placate you. Just all the different things that people do. explain what you're doing wrong really nicely, offer you a book that may help you, right? All of those actions, when it's born out of a negative judgment and you're in secondary motion, right? Those three things, one, two, three, begets from the other person because it hurts them. They're one, two, three. They'll now see you negatively as the holder of love. They're going to be in a secondary emotion. And then their action is going to be born out of that, which will make you do what? It's going to hurt you. And then you're going to do one, two, three. It's going to hurt the other person. Then they're going to do one, two, three. And now for those like me that learned how to waltz as a kid with their mom, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And so the couple keeps scaring the living daylights out of each other inside of this waltz of pain. But think about a waltz. You're not waltzing on your own. It takes two people to waltz. So that's the first key transformation. Both people, when they're locked inside the waltz of pain, they only see it from their subjective experience. And so the big thing that I have to help people do, right, is I have to help them zoom out and see the two dance partners, like get out of your own experience and see the dance from the outside. Look at this waltz of pain that we are creating together. We're both hurting and we're both looking at each other negatively, having reactive emotions and action tendencies that hurt the other person. This is so painful for both of us. That's that key first transformation that we go from this is a me or you problem to this is an us problem, not because we're bad, but because we actually love each other so much, we both get hurt and threatened when it looks like we're not there for each other the way we long for each other to be there. I love this a lot. And I feel personally attacked, Figs, in some regard. <laughs> like, oh. You do? I'm, no, I'm like, oh, I've, I've done that. I'm having flashbacks to conversations. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that's right. I did do Well, that. everybody does it. Yeah. Even like supposed couples therapists, I get hurt when it looks like my wife's not there for me and I'm reactive. And then it hurts her and she's reactive. You just want to shorten the amount of time you're in your waltz of pain without seeing it from the outside and being able to soften. Nobody gets to a place that you're never doing it. Yeah. If you notice that you're taking the first step of the three-step waltz, it seems like that is a strategic maneuver to prevent the entire dance from happening. Or is that too simple? Well, so, well, so here's the interesting thing about that, right? Look, the waltz is helpful. If you're like, I see them negatively, I'm angry at you. And so then I slash their tires of their car. And then the other person is, oh, wow, you slashed my tires of your car. I see you negatively. I'm angry at you. So I burn your passport. Like, yeah, we would probably need to help that couple notice earlier during the cycle to stop them actually engaging in criminal behavior. Right. Okay. And obviously, in all seriousness, everything we're talking about assumes there's not a risk of domestic violence when we study your relationship with another human being. But look, there is a value to the cycle. Just think if everything I said is true, the cycle gets us back in the missing experience that the little kids inside you that are still here and always here, if you succeeded in never getting into your waltz of pain, you would also succeed at never creating the right fertile environment for the little vulnerable ones to go, hey, you know why I protested? 
you know, I saw you negatively. I got scared you weren't here. I thought it was happening again. We'd never get to hear from the most vulnerable parts in both of you. Most people is what they do is go, okay, how do we get to a place we never do our waltz of pain? I don't want you to not do your waltz of pain. I want you to get to a part that you see the waltz of pain for what it is. It's like you love each other so much. You scare each other. And for some very temporary period of time, it looks like the worst thing is happening again for both of you. But then you get to the other side of that and let's get there quicker before you, you know, cars are damaged, passports are burned, right? So let's try and get it before that. And then the magic of relationship is in the repair. The magic is not in being good. This is another thing that drives me crazy. You know what sells? What sells is trying to teach people how to be good. Stop trying to be fucking good. Look, you freaking get mad because you love someone so much. They disengage because they love you so much. It's so painful when you're disappointed in them. So let's see it for what it is. And then, look, again, technical language. Now let's love the shit out of the little ones that were hurt when you were fighting. That's what we got to be able to do. Not try and avoid the walls of pain completely. Mm -hmm.